Hey everybody, in this video I want to go over some further things we can do with this. Um, so, the first thing I want to do is I want to go into configuration and I want to set up a profile in here for, or a policy rather. Yeah, let's go into here to wired. So I want to add another condition and the action I want to take. So let's go to rules here. So this is going to be right now, the machine goes into default. So that's not necessarily what I want to do. I want to define if I want to define where I want that machine to go, I can do this, I can do tips. And then roll. And then equals. And then use this machine authenticated option and give it whichever whichever one I want to put it in. I want to put it in, let's say, um, wired profile two. Save that. So now it's going to, instead of just falling through, I can put this into whatever VLAN I want to, whatever VLAN is defined in 802.1x wired profile two. So I can say yes to that. So this wired profile two is putting it in 70. Maybe I don't want that. Let's go back to policies. Let's fix this, make, put it in 80. We'll automatically put a machine authenticated into 80. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't think it, it didn't, looks like it didn't save. So let's try that again. Tips. Roll equals, and I want machine authenticated, and I want to put it in profile one, save it. And now I need to go and save this. Let's make sure it got that. Okay, there it is. So that, that's what we want to do. Tips roll equals machine authenticated. Now it's going to match this on a login. Let's do that. Let's shut this down. Let's restart this thing. All right, so this machine will restart. And if we look at monitoring, access monitor. So now it should match the policy. Let's see, is this new? So now it's hitting wired profile one. Now you can see that rather than before when we were doing machine authentication, it was just following through, follow falling through to the wired default profile. Now that's not what we're going to want. We're going to want to define this and say, what VLAN do we want a authenticated machine to go into? Now an unauthenticated machine, you can also put in some guest VLAN, which only has access to very limited resources or just the internet. But that is basically what we want to do. And let's see if it comes back up. Let's see if it's back up. Oh, it is back up. Okay. So this should be, I guess that was our system coming back up. I think auto refresh. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you can see right here, machine authenticated test wired 802.1x and it keeps that machine authenticated as we saw in the configuration or rather the administration. If we go to server configuration, click on here, service control, service parameters, rather policy server, this machine authentication cache timeout is 24 hours. So it'll cache that authentication so that when you log in, it's there. So you don't have to worry about that as far as it trying to push both of them at the same time. It really can't do that. There is a newer way to do this with tunnel deep and that's in more advanced or more modern 
OSs. I'm going to try to do a video on that. I do have a Windows 11 machine set up here, and I do want to try to do that with Windows 11, and that'll probably be in another series, or maybe this series, we'll see. But using Tunnel Deep with Aruba. And I also have another, you can see here, another Aruba ClearPass, a later version. This is 6.8, I think this is 6.10, which will allow us to do Tunnel Deep. But this one, 6.8, we're just gonna do it like this. But this is this is pretty clean. And it works works great actually. Because it logs in, machine authenticates with that service. Login status. It's really I, I'm really liking Aruba ClearPass. The more I'm working with it. All right, so that is a quick video just showing how we can actually put the machine authentication in the right policy, the right enforcement policy or enforcement profile, rather than just have it fall through to the default, which we wouldn't necessarily want to do because the default is probably very limited. I mean, this one could be also rather limited, but that's what we want to do. All right. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.